that uh, how well versed are the people who are going to make the decision in Washington? How well are they versed on what it means to keep the economic activity that we have in this moment? I'm concerned that there is not enough knowledge about the true value of this important generation uh, of activities which we have developed over years with the help of all the companies which have come to Puerto Rico. And how very much valuable is it to us, especially now that this could be the kickoff for our recuperation after this horrendous happening here in the heritage. This is a, a most precious thing which we cannot lose because there is no substitute for it. I think that, that that's a key question that uh, must be addressed or, or understood by the decision makers. Do you think that there's any positive sign coming out of Washington right now? Okay, there have been some expressions by different congressmen on, on their willingness to address the Puerto Rico issue. I mean, there have been some. Uh, I just hope to see the action. Because Express agree, if you check on the record, you are, different people have said different things. We'll deal with this, we'll deal with Puerto Rico at some time, uh, or we're not, you know. But uh, the action is the thing we need urgently. Because uh, we cannot continue to lose our population because of la lack of certainty. Now you are witness to what happened after 936 was eliminated. Yes. Do yes, you yes. what what are what is your prediction as to what could happen here if Puerto Rico loses any more benefits? Well, in 1936, I was in a position to say that what we said then was true afterwards. We, what we said happened. Which is what? Uh, that there was an ex exodus of companies which could not adjust to the new uh, system. Those who could stayed. Thank God they did. But those who couldn't uh, simply left. And it was mentioned in the panel today that uh, you know the electronics and the, the textiles and they, they had to. Uh, but now we have no substitute for the size and impact of the industry which we have. God forbid that they should have to leave. And we have to do everything, and the U.S. also has to do everything to keep them here because otherwise we have nothing which in a reasonable amount of time could make up for it and what could happen is just simply the, the, the exodus the door would, would open and would not close. Okay, and it's the exodus obviously of companies and of people. And, and people, people would, 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 would have to look for very good. I, I mean, I don't mind, I don't mean that the island will be completely empty. I mean, it, it wouldn't come to that. But you know, if there is a substantial reduction in people, we have a greater problem in, 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 in new economic growth. We have a greater lack of, of people for that. If you were to offer any advice to the people <laughs> that are representing Puerto Rico in Congress and lobbying in Congress, what would, what, what would it be? That it behooves uh, the Puerto Rican people and the American people as a whole, the United States and Puerto Rico, to have a healthy and, and prosperous Puerto Rico. And that, that behooves to all of us. We cannot uh, be satisfied with a mediocre or weak Puerto Rico. Have, have a strong Puerto Rico, and it, it is everybody's uh, interest. That it's Why? Also. Why? Because we are part of that nation, we are citizens of that nation, and therefore we, we, you cannot have a separate and, and distinct uh, poor part of that nation. You have to keep it with, at the same standards and at the same levels of uh, opportunities and growth. Thank you.